guys, welcome to another video. Today, um, my background is a little different. I kind of widened out my angle so that I can show you guys because today I'm going to be doing a Yes Style try on haul. And it's my first time that I've actually done a try on haul. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm really excited because there are a couple of things that I picked up. For the spring on Yes Style. And Yes Style, I love to shop on Yes Style because there's such a big variety, but at the same time, there's so much stuff that I get confused on what to pick because I'm very indecisive. So I'm the type of person that kind of likes to read all the reviews before I try to buy something. And this time around, I just picked up a couple of items and I'm just going to be just trying them on, giving you guys my opinion. And if you guys are looking for that certain style or look, then I thought that it might be a little bit easier for you guys to shop on your style because I know, I know how hard it is to do that. But yes, I'm super excited. There are so much cute stuff. I got jackets, blazers, and coats for the spring. So if you guys are looking for a spring outfit, let's go with the trial on haul. So the first item that I'm going to be trying out is a coat and this is actually a checkered coat. It's pretty long but it's not too long. I think it goes right around just below the knees so yes. I actually wanted to buy a checkered coat but I was contemplating if I should or not because it's actually something that I thought would be hard to pull off but it looks so nice. I love it. And it has a belt that you could do it on too. And I want to show you guys the detailing on the belt. They have the detail on the sleeves as well. But if I were to close it, I think that would be really cute too. Just kind of... Yes, but I really love the print and I've actually been wearing this a lot more than I thought I was going to wear. It's actually really easy to match. Anything that's black, white, or gray, I feel like will match very well with this and yeah. <laughs> it looks like I'm flashing people off. But this is how it looks like in the back. And I just wanted to show you guys the inside. There's lining on the inside and also inside the sleeves as well and I feel like it's perfect for weather like right now and also I feel like you can wear it early fall as well so I'm gonna be wearing this probably religiously for this year and yes it's just super comfortable but at the same time it's like you put in the work but you didn't really put in the work so yes I love it Next item is going to be a plaid blazer. I've always wanted a blazer and I think that after I did a style swap with Joan, which I'll link here, I kind of wanted to buy a blazer, which I never thought that I would wear a blazer because I thought that it wouldn't look good on me. For those of you guys who know, I like very casual and street style clothing. So I thought that I wasn't going to like the blazer and I just was like, okay, you know what? Let's just buy it. And guys, this is how it looks like. Looks good. I like it. I actually like this blazer because I feel like it's not too formal, but you can wear it to a more formal type of place too, but I like how I could just style it with jeans and just a white top. It looks really good. Look at the back. And if you guys want to just see the little bit of detail in the front, this is how it looks like. Didn't close it, but I will close it for you guys. And the material, it actually feels really good. I, I was very surprised. I know that Yes Style could either be a hit or miss, but when I first felt this, I was like, oh, I made a good choice. And on the inside as well, there is a lining, which is very nice, and also pockets. And next up, we are also going to be trying on a coat, and this is a khaki coat. It actually is very casual, and 
I didn't want to buy just a regular trench coat because I just kind of wanted to be a little bit more casual, something that I could just wear out on the go. And yes, this is how it looks like. As you guys can see, it's very casual and the zippers fall down very much in the place where I want it. It's kind of something more natural. There are a lot of zippers where they're like up here and like, okay, I'm like not going to be walking around like this. So I just kind of like how the zippers are very natural where they are. And yes, it also has drawstrings here as you guys can see. And for those of you guys who do not like a boxy fit, you guys can just pull the drawstrings and work with it a little bit. It will be a totally different feel than what it is, which is the reason why I like it because if you're feeling a little bit girly that day, you could pull on the drawstrings and then make it a little bit tighter near the waist, but if not, you can kind of wear it boxy. And yeah, I feel like this is just a perfect casual coat that you could just wear out on the go and it'll look good. Also, as you guys can see, there are accent belts on the sleeves as well, which is great. Love it. Next up, it is going to be a denim jacket. First of all, I want to put out that I probably have around seriously seven denim jackets. I love denim jackets. Denim jackets are my go-to, especially in the spring and summer. And the reason why I picked this denim jacket up was because it was a little bit different than the denim jackets that I tend to buy. Denim jackets that I tend to buy are usually very boyish and very oversized, but this denim jacket is actually, guys, the detailing on this denim jacket, I was kind of contemplating if I should buy it or not, but the back looks like this and it's actually really pretty. I feel like this is the type of jacket where you only wear this out and it will look great. Like it will finish the outfit. You know, usually most of the times the other denim jackets you have to kind of match it with a bag or match it with a shoes that will make the denim jacket look better but this is just so nice. And I also love the detailing of like the little buttons going down. I just thought that it was really cute. I do think though when I wear this denim jacket, I'm gonna be just putting my hair up because the detailing on the back is too pretty to put my hair down. Like seriously, it's, it's everything. Next up is another denim jacket. I bought denim jackets that had a little bit of more details in them because I have so many denim jackets already so I was like I want to change it up and I want to put just other things with the denim and when I saw the studs I was like I have to buy it but I love it it's not too much it's not too much and I feel like it will look really good with white jeans um, it can look good with black jeans as well, but this is how I topped it. I topped it with more of a girly lace top, and I was debating on how I should style this, but I feel like it's something that's very workable. It can be very semi-formal, at the same time it could be very casual. So if you just put tank top in here, it could be a more casual type of look. But I feel like I'm going to be wearing this more of like a semi-formal, and I love it. There's also studs in the back as well. Two lines and then on the collar. I was actually really worried about how the materials on the denim would come because I know that with denim too it's either hit or miss and I was really worried that it might be really too flimsy and it might not hold shape. But this definitely holds shape and it is more on the boxy side. I Love it. I got this in a size small. So, for those of you guys who want reference, this is a size small. And also, all the other things that I bought too are a size small as well. Next up, it is also a coat. And I know that you guys are like, why so many coats? But at the same time, I have a lot of black coats. But the reason why I picked this one out is because it had the little accents of just white on the sleeves and the back so I will be showing you guys the detailing of this but as you guys can see it has 
a belt on the sleeves. I feel like you can close it up too. It'll look really pretty if you close it up. Shall we try looking? Looks pretty. Yes. Looks good. This is also lined on the inside as well and I personally like to buy coats or jackets that do have a little bit of lining on the inside because I tend to like the feeling of lined clothing or just jackets in general more than just the fabric itself because I feel like it just feels better on my skin. So yes, this is how it looks and also this is another semi-formal like a casual look that you guys can just go for and a coat that you guys could just put on the reason why I wanted to buy this coat is because I thought that the accent of white was really interesting and it wasn't too much but it was different to know that it was a different black coat so that is the reason why I bought this coat Woo! next step it is going to be a tweed jacket and tweed is just the type of knit it is, knitting they do, so that's why it's called tweed. And this is a tweed jacket mixed with leather, um, probably pleather, most likely. But that's how it looks like. And it is pretty short. I wouldn't say that it's long, it is more of like a cropped jacket. But the back is actually pleather, and the front is more of the pleat, and I love this. Also, as you guys can see, there's the detailing, there is a zipper, and also this is how the detailing of the actual jacket looks like. This jacket is actually really, really warm. Um, I don't know if I would put it into like my spring wardrobe it is more towards fall but if it is on a chillier side during spring i feel like this is perfect and it's so good it's so stylish i actually wore this to an event and it was perfect because i'm the type of person who doesn't really like to wear dresses but i felt like this jacket was very good for like a semi-formal type of look and just looks really good that's how it looks like and it's really warm. Like as you guys can tell, I'm only wearing a tank top underneath, but it's really warm right now. As you guys can also see, it has zipper detailing on the sleeves and there is a little bit of pleather that sticks out if you open up the zippers, but if you close it, then it's just gonna be seamlessly kind of zippered in, which is great as well. Next up, it is going to be I think this is one of my favorites out of the bunch. It is this beautiful jacket and <sighs> how it looks like. Um, as you guys can probably tell by now, I do not tend to have a lot of bold colors or a lot of bold designs and even for me having this design itself was more of a bold option for me and I like things that are more subtle and just a little bit more natural when it comes to designs but I've never seen a design like this so I thought that it was just really interesting and really pretty also it has gold snap on buttons so just kind of snaps on and it's easier to just snap off but I want to show you guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the detailing of what this material is, but it's super soft. It's super soft and seriously, I remember when I wore this, Joan kept on touching my jacket. She's like, it's so soft. And I was like, I know, right? So the whole time she was just like touching my arm and it just feels so good. I feel like, as I said again, it is going to be probably more on the chillier springs, the windy spring days but this is actually something that I love and I'm so glad that I got because I was kind of worried that the buttons might look a little bit too tacky but they weren't tacky at all and yes I love how also not only does it have detailing here but it kind of has the details on the sleeves as well because if you think about it if it does have detail here it'll look totally different but 
the sleeves on the detail makes it look totally a different type of feel and yes this is how it looks like another thing that I want to say is it also has pockets on the side so that is also good too last but not least it is going to be another jacket it is actually similar to the feeling that I get was with the white one but it is a little bit different it is still really soft and I don't know for me I feel like this is kind of in between a jacket and a cardigan so I'll just call it a jacardigan and <laughs> I just want to show you guys also the detailing on the buttons of this. This as well, I feel like it is something that you could build up or build down. You could just wear a slight black dress with this and then it'll look really great. Or you could just pair it with jeans and it'll look casual at the same time. It is really soft. I feel like the um, good things about the white one and this one is that it's just so soft that when you're wearing it, it just makes you feel so good. It makes you feel like you're a sheep or like you have clouds around you and I think that is the upsides of the last two that I tried on and I would have to say there's not one item that I really didn't like I liked all of the items which I'm so happy for because I know that it could either be a hit or miss because you can't see it in real life and you just have to buy it through the pictures but I hope that you guys like this and I know that I actually got a lot of comments on my Instagram as well um, while I was preparing to make this try on and people were asking me oh where'd you get the jacket oh where'd you get this and I was like oh my god please wait just a little bit like I'll answer you guys questions when I make the video so yes this is the video so that is the end of the try on haul but it is not over because I actually prepared a short lookbook for you guys at the end of this video and please leave it on the comments down below if you guys like the lookbook as well uh, the reason why I just wanted to put it in the video is because I wanted to show you guys how I would style it I know that just trying it on will be a different feel than actually seeing a full outfit of it and I did try to put you know, um, my clothes together while I was trying it on of something that I would wear it in real life. So, hope you guys enjoyed that as well. And also, I just plan on doing more of these Yes Style try on hauls. So, if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, or share the video as well. And yes, until next time, bye! Why you wanna let me go? Nah, nah, now. Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know Not nah, now Cause your love made me Made me go blind What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack Someone help me catch my breath again did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Possible? Oh. How could we let love go? How could we move